Welcome to Word 2010 Text Effects. I'm Trainer Lori. What are text effects? It's a way to make your text really pop. Even though it says Word, it's really also available in PowerPoint and Excel, and even somewhat in Outlook. You'll find it on the Home tab under Fonts, and you can see the little A with the, the glow around it, and there's a bunch of them built in. You could just choose one of those, or you can get into a lot more detail. If you are in compatibility mode, in other words, if you have not converted your old document from a, a 2003 or earlier, then it will not be available to you. It will be grayed out. Also, you have to highlight the text first, before, or select the text, before you can use the text effects. I find that chunky fonts are better, uh, a thicker font instead of a thin font. So the first one we're going to look at is outline. Now of course we've got all these built in, you can just choose the one that you want and if you want to make changes to it you can. So keep that in mind. But if you want to start from scratch, uh, outline, and you choose what color is your outline. It doesn't matter what your font is because in this case the font is black and yet it's still, um, you can see that it has a different uh, color, it doesn't, uh, the font itself will not be black. Here's one that's completely an outline, and just by changing the solid line to a dashed line, it almost looks like a coupon or a pattern, something that should be cut out, that says, look at me, it's urgent. And look at this, I've made it a much thicker font with a bit of a shadow, and it looks like it's uh, been stamped. So it, it gives it an entirely different flavor simply by making some of these changes. The next one is shadow. Love shadow. I use it all the time. And you can see that it has um, outer here, and you can see where this, the light source would be from the top left, so the shadow is on the right and the bottom. And that's the default, and that's I use that a lot. It's, it's very nice, very pretty to look at. Easy on the eyes. However, this is an inner shadow. You can see here that we've got the ability to put the shadow on the inside of the font, which actually makes that font look like it's three-dimensional. And then these are perspective, so they look like they're hovering in uh, different cases. But if you click on the shadow options, you have even more options. You can see just by sliding some of these sliders over, it completely changed the look. Look at that, how it looks like it's hovering over the paper. I love th that option, but remember, when you're using a shadow or some of these other options, they're going to take up a lot more room. So you've got uh, more, more room for the font itself. Reflection is another one that takes up a lot of room. So if you have a lot of white space to play with, these are great to use. Reflection is like a reflection based on how still the water is. So if this were a reflection on water, you could see that there would be some movement on the water. And here it's a little farther from what it's reflecting, just by choosing your reflection variations. When you choose options, you have more options again, and so that you can make them even more personalized, whatever you specifically like. I like glow for a couple of reasons. I like using the yellow, and you can see that there is no yellow built in, so I click the more glow uh, colors so that I can put a, gl a yellow glow. I like it better than using the highlighter because it doesn't give such a big block of yellow. It just gives a, 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 a nice feel of yellow. I also like to use the glow when I'm putting text over a photo, and some of the edges of the letters might disappear. And so I like glow instead of shadow in this case because it completely surrounds the edge of the letter and it makes it very clear even if it's over a picture. In options, you can see that you have more options to make it bigger or uh, closer and more less transparent. Now you'll notice there's another option here called 3D Format, and I pointed out under Glow, although it's available on any of the more options, the more uh, format text effects options. But you'll see here it's hidden. If you look on the regular drop-down, it's not available. So this is really a hidden one you have to remember to come in here to find. It's called 3D Format. Using 3D Format with a dark color, in the case I used a, a, a kind of a greenish brown, doesn't it look almost like metal? That's why I think this is such a cool look. And so uh, depending on what kind of bevel you use, you can get a different kind of look. And the darker the color, the more shadow and lighting options you'll have. Uh, you also have some options for different kinds of uh, uh, material, so um, if you can get it to be shinier or less shiny uh, based on what kind of material you choose. Uh, 
And so you can see very different looks for 3D format, but all 3D, three-dimensional. The lighter the color, the less depth that you get. Also, I've had uh, people ask me about other options for effects, and uh, the um, tried and true, or the classic options, are always available here. However, a lot of people never knew that they were available because they found all their tools on, right on the toolbar, or in this case, the ribbon. So if you go into the dialog box launcher, you'll find under the font tab, all these other effects. And so if, you, uh, if you're in law, for example, you probably already know about strike through and double strike through. Um, and superscript makes it small and just above the letter, and subscript makes it small and below the normal size font. And this is small caps over here. This is what it looks like. Uh, your letters will all be caps, but the ones that are not capitalized will be a little smaller than the others. And then all caps. And there's also something called hidden, which really hides the text. There's actual text here, but because I use hidden, you can't see it at all and you can't even select it. So that might be a good place to hide um, oh, uh, some information that you wouldn't want to share, but you would want to keep it in there so you could remember that it is in there. And then also in here, of course, is our text effects button so that we can go into the location that we saw before. Even though it's not just text, it's a text box, you still have all these options with a text box. So if I were to create a text box, then I would still have all these options that we saw with text now available with the box. But notice it's not the text that it uh, happens to, it's the outside edge of the box. And we have another one here called Soft Edges that's available that wasn't available as just the font. And then uh, even 3D rotation. You also have the same option with text, but not just plain text. It has to be word art. And if you go into word art, you can see the difference is a word art See, it looks like it has a line here. Text box always has a line and a fill. But with WordArt, I, when I deselect it, there is no line. And so now the, it's actually the text itself that becomes three-dimensional or can be transformed or rotated. So if you want the text itself to do it, then use WordArt. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.